All righty. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are again. We're back. There's not much news to talk about with Planetside. A few little things here and there. And it's been a long time as someone who's spent a lot of time on this channel, especially in the last couple of years, uh, reacting to content uh, that specific creators have been putting out. There's not been a lot of content <laughs> being put out for this game in the last five, six months. Basically, since since Rel uh, took his ball and went home because nobody liked Osher, uh, and he had to finally deal with that. Uh, Sirius hasn't made a video, I don't think, since June. The guy's lost like 2,000... 2,000. Guy's losing subs, completely dead channel. Uh, other, other like smaller channels like Zealous's channel. I don't I don't know if that guy's seeing any growth anymore. He's still doing videos here and there. Cammy doesn't really do videos on the game anymore, but Cammy is doing uh you know juggling a bunch of other things that he's doing. Uh the only other smaller guy I ever see pop up from time to time is that Tezro guy, but that guy is like you know, fair weather fan of the game pops in every once in a while to do a video and then that's it he's out so uh it's been a minute since zealous did a did a video and i think one of the last major videos that he did i did a big hour plus long reaction to was the um hot take video that did that did really well for me uh that's everything you guys have been killing it uh uh, the the stuff some of the stuff that I've put out lately or at least within the last six to eight months I'm like is this gonna is this gonna do any good uh, you know I'm not really sure I'm I'm trying to push it here and there a little bit where I'm gonna talk about stuff that I don't necessarily think that the people that watch me necessarily agree with but I mean the the reactions and the uh, the turnout for those videos has still been really good for me so uh, again I appreciate it thank you. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, recent news, uh, the medic tethering thing got cried. They cried and cried and cried and cried until they reverted their stance on it. They mentioned a little in the little blurb that they don't want people reviving through walls, which is, I mean, that's the main reason. Uh, that's the main reason I make fun of it. And not necessarily. The, some of the stuff you see with, the, they just flat out broke it in a lot of ways. And I mentioned this before. I'm I'm on either side of the fence here because I don't I don't really understand at this point if if the game's going to go in maintenance mode and you're not going to really do shit uh with the game cuz th if you actually wanted to balance the game at all like th there's you need to nerf the infiltrator the medic needs to be nerfed the light, light assault needs to be nerfed there's a lot of things that actually need to be reined in that have been power crept over the last 6 or 7 years uh, if you're actually at all serious about anything, but this whole thing to me seems very non-serious or unserious, uh, especially if you're just going to instantly cave to people who don't know how to use their WAS and D keys. Um, th some of the videos were, were great. Um, yeah, but anyway, that that's getting reverted. It may have already been. I, I, I honestly... I can't be asked to keep up uh, with when it got patched or when it didn't. But beyond that, they announced that after announcing within the last couple months that Outfit Wars wasn't happening this season, uh, they announced that, oh, Outfit Wars Nexus Season 2 is coming. So I'm sure that'll be great for all the uh, four outfits left in the game that are going to participate in that. Uh, so good job, guys. Nice job reading the room. And I think, uh, I guess... I'm going to start the video here soon and shut the fuck up, but uh, to me, I don't think, I don't think they had actually anything planned beyond the, the holiday stuff or, you know, the Halloween, uh, summer stuff, Christmas time, maybe, maybe something for the, what is it? 12 year anniversary? 11, I don't care anymore. Um, they really don't have anything planned and I wonder how many there's there's a team but is it like one guy locked in a closet i don't know but we've had a little tiny burst of news lately in the game so here we see again our good old our, our friend zealous uh is gonna waste my time and your time and everybody else's time again but he's gonna make a new video uh 
So here, the title of the video is The Big Planet Side 2 News is here, and I'm so excited, XD. All right, ladies and gents, buckle up, because this is going to be one hell of a video. All right, so just to get everyone caught up here and on the same page, the guy responsible for a lot of the mistakes with Planet Side 2 over the last few years, five months ago, basically either quit or was forced out. That's the guy responsible for OSHA, Capture the Flag, the Mola Cannon, which farmed everyone for like a year and a half, Esamir, the Esamir Storm, remember that one? The mediocre changes to NSO, the voucher changes, which took away one of the main two ways people did logistic, the construction changes, which didn't make people fight in construction bases any more than previous. Obviously. And in one of the most bizarre... No, keep going. Keep going. Keep going back all the way to 2016 and 2017. Go on, keep going. Dev retired. Oh, wait, you don't know anything about that. ...things that I've ever seen. It's like the dev was exasperated and was just like, fine, you don't like OSHA? Then fine, here and through the middle of the continent of OSHA into the actual lake. And then he left and that was it. Anyway, with that guy gone, we were like, oh my god. Now that's that's kind of the problem with... with Something as big of a failure as OSHA is, and they, you gotta, we gotta remember, we gotta remember the timeline here, fellas. They put out OSHA, a couple months later they put out Arsenal, and then everything kind of goes into, because they didn't touch anything that, that came off of Arsenal for like seven, eight months. So all the shotgun buffs they gave, all that shit, remember, shotguns didn't get nerfed or touched until what, October or November? Look at the Arsenal update, and then look when I did the fucking, the, the video making fun of the shotgun nerfs. It's, it's like six, seven, eight months later in the year. So, they spent a super long time. They, at some point, realized they had to do Osher 2.0, which <laughs> isn't really a 2.0, they... They spent a lot more time than I even thought they would have. I, 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 Osher, man, is such... When I think of all the time we've lost now with Osher, in terms of working on it over a few years and putting it out and then having to, to go back to it for... Really work on it for another year. And that's where it is today. Um, I think we would have been better off without it. We uh, I, <laughs> I think it's safe to say at this point, um, massive McHuge mistake that we would have been better off without, uh, without question. Because even even to this day, Osher is still ruining the game to this day. Uh, it hasn't been turned off. It hasn't been disabled. I, you know, as long as a year ago, I said, you need to turn, close this continent off, turn it off. We know you have the capability to do that. Until you figure out what it is you actually want to do with it. And no, your little piecemeal changes that you did to it uh, last year, or earlier this year or last year, th those, it's still terrible. Um, and then spending six to eight months changing construction again for no reason. Um, did that do anything to help this continent? No. Are we realizing yet? And then that's the Rel realized that there was nothing that he was going to be able to do anymore to push his baby, uh, and he ultimately realized that he would have to strangle his his baby in the crib, and I guess his ego could not deal with that, so he exited stage left, and since then, absolutely fucking nothing has been addressed or fixed in the game at all. Nothing, nothing like major, and. I don't know why people think that. For some reason, there's there's still a, a camp of people that think that this game is going to undergo serious changes or this game is going to be rehabilitated in some way or the things that need to be changed in this game developmentally by developers who are, you know, have some kind of common sense. That shit's never going to happen. It's done. It's over with. The, the mainline development for this game is fucking over. And the sooner you you come to terms with that, the sooner we can all live in the same state of reality. So all you guys still, you guys making posts on the forums, you guys making posts, I see these dumb shitters make posts every day on the forums. Suggestions for what to do to the game. They're not going to do anything. They're not going to do shit. And now, they, they were going to do something 
with, you know, who the fuck asked? They were going to change this medic tethering dog shit. And then they just got, they got their feelings hurt because a bunch of whiny 2KD shitters who were awful at the game came out and cried about it for two weeks straight. And now they're going to revert it. And probably now, they're never going to touch anything again. So, you guys got to get past... I, I made that video a couple months ago about the new player experience, because this guy this guy likes to ramble on and on about the new player experience and shit. And that the, the crux of that video is, why the fuck are you talking about the new player experience? This game is dead and dying, and that's not what needs to be focused on at all anymore. That's it. Who give it up? And now the mainline development of the game, some would argue... I would argue the mainline development of this game hasn't been attempted to be addressed since 2015 or so. so the, literally, the end of Higby, the entire time we've had Rel, that guy hasn't done dick all to try to address anything actually wrong with the game. But you guys got to reach the point where you understand that I know there's a lot of you guys that, that have only played the game for a few years my 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021 guys that are new to the game. I I know you don't have enough time in the game to understand like this is where we are now and this is what's going on and your your view of the history in this of this game is non-existent and you have nothing to base it on except for the past few years. And if anything, the past few years, the past 3-4 years should have informed you already that it ain't fucking going anywhere. It's it it never was. We always knew that. The guys that have been around for 11 years, we know nothing nobody serious is working on this game and nobody nobody has been serious about working on this game since probably 2013 or 2014. It's been that long. Um You guys got to get with the program. Like you have to come to the reality and the acceptance that the things that you don't like in the game, the things that you complain about, the things that you all want to make your posts about. And I've had people come in here and make comments all the time about what would what would be your list for fixing that? What would be your list? Lex, can you do, you talked about the medic. What would you do? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I'm not going to do that video. Because that video is a complete and total fucking waste of time. And that video, that particular video asking for what I want done to the game, has been a waste of time for probably twice as long as you've been playing the game. That's, that's how far back we go. That's how irrelevant people wanting things to happen in the game has been. And I need, I need all of you guys that are stuck playing and logging in every day because you've only been playing for a few years and you might still be in your honeymoon to realize and understand where people like me and others like me have been telling you for a long time now. You're wasting your time. All the things that you want to make posts about, some of you guys make really good posts on the Reddit and all this other stuff, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time because there are unserious people in charge of this game. And it's been that way for a long time. Rel, it was an unserious person when it comes to addressing the problems with this game. He was a player, and he was a, a player celebrity that got that failed upwards into the position that he had. But ultimately unserious. Unserious about actually improving the game. Now this game is finally going to get back on track, we're going to remove some of the bad stuff that the previous dev design, and then other things will simply rebalance. And of course, that's what we hoped would happen. What in reality has happened is the devs have released some really garbage implants. That, like, I don't understand why you guys thought that that was going to happen. I really don't understand why you guys thought that with Rel leaving, the people that were left working on the game were going to actually do things that mattered or counted for anything. That was never, ever, ever going to be the case. Because the guys that are left, remember, for whatever reason, Rel was put in charge of these people. So whatever your, your takes on Rel, uh, just remember that these are all his cronies and his followers, right? These are the people that have worked under the guy for 
however many years now, you're not going to see a big departure. You're not going to see these guys come in, especially given the reality of the game is that they're not really doing any work on the game anymore. Really? They're, you're not, you were never going to see people come in and wholesale undo everything the guy did in the last two years. Yeah, it would have been nice if they did that, but if you were really realistic about that, was that ever going to happen? No. And I get it. Rel leaving, when I made, when it, the day Rel announced that he was quitting, uh, I specifically said that today is not a day for celebration. And I know a lot of my friends and a lot of people that that like the content that I do through a party. And I don't I don't know why you guys I can't say that. I know why you guys reacted that way and that's the problem with the Planet Side 2 community man is the easiest route to react that's how they're going to go. There's little to no nuance at all when it comes to this stuff. So I could have easily made, like I said in the video, I could have made a laugh track for 30 minutes where I just laugh into the camera because it's hilarious to me, the whole situation with that guy. But I took a step back and I looked and said, what does this actually mean for the game? This means for the game, absolutely fuck all nothing. Because nothing that that guy has done to the game or put in the game or, or worked on in the last five or six years None of that's going to get rolled back. We're not going to hit a fucking hit the Omega 13 button uh, <laughs> and go back in time in the last, you know, however long to to fix whatever he's done. It, it was never going to happen. And the, the, the theme of that video was remembering and looking back and just being... disappointed right and being sad about what has happened to the game under that guy uh and then realize that it would be great if it was a day to celebrate it would be it would be awesome if it was a time to you know if we knew you know the person that you hate working on the game stops working on the game most people would think hey that's a bonus that's a big plus and while it is he can't fuck up the game anymore with his terrible ideas and the shit he wants to do to the game. At the same time, nothing's going to happen anymore. And the stuff that you hate, we are, how many months? When did you leave? Memorial Day? You know, we're going to be to the through the end of the year here very shortly and literally nothing. What do we have to show for him being gone? Absolutely fuck all. Zero. Nothing. Is the game in a better state now than it was when his last day at work? No. <laughs> and it was really naive or ignorant to think that the game was going to improve at all. And now have gone four or five months basically without seeing anything. And then finally, after all this time, we hear that there's some big news coming out, right? Five months ago, it was teased that they were working towards an anniversary update. And so people have really been looking forward to whatever's going to come next for Planet Side 2. And we've been quietly crossing our fingers that this game can reclaim some of the glory that it's lost. And after all... You don't... You specifically don't understand any of the reclaiming anything for you to talk about reclaiming anything you don't know you weren't there when the game had a shit ton of people you weren't there if you weren't here w before 2015 you will never you will never know what the game was like back then you can go back and watch videos and the old heads can talk to you about it but the the pinnacle of the game that you saw is of is it's pretty pathetic compared to what all the old heads saw. And if if that's what if if escalation is the peak, like I feel bad for you guys. All of that build up, what do we get? 
we get another season of Outfit Wars, something that I don't think many people even asked for. What I think happened is that the Chinese players were posting on Reddit saying how much effort they were putting in preparing for Outfit Wars and now only just realised that the season wasn't happening and how disappointed they are and how disappointed the whole Chinese community was. Okay, first of all, if you're the Chinese community, why the fuck do you think, why don't you, there was a post I think a few months back about this specifically made by these Chinese dumb fucks. And they're like, we're doing all this work for Outfit Wars this year. And it's like, hey guys, stop. Why don't you take, why don't you assess what has occurred in the game for the last, eh, I don't know, since the last Outfit Wars on Nexus ended. Hmm. Uh, we got a couple more absolute fuck up failure updates. Uh, the guy in charge of the game, doing everything and anything for the game, uh, he walked out. He went out for cigarettes, and he ain't coming back. And since then, absolutely fuck all has happened, besides we got some shitty implants, and uh, they fixed a the generator bug. And they tried to fuck around with medic tethering. Uh, other than that, what, what in the fuck... And by the way, this was... This post was made just a couple months ago, so we're like late summer, early September. It's like... What about the Planetside 2 community makes it so difficult for you guys to read the room here? What in the fuck made you think that there was going to be an Outfit Wars Season 2? Leading up to, uh, up to that point. Because I think even the most optimistic people would understand that... Uh, I don't know, dude. Have you seen the fucking pops for this game? Have you... This game is fucking hurting. And even now, to announce it, I, like, I feel like I, I need to make a separate video talking about Outfit Wars Nexus Season 2. Who the fuck cares? Who cares? Who cares? What, like, what's left to prove? Like, nobody cares. Let this game fuck, let this pathetic, sad excuse for a shell husk of a game let it die nobody cares about outfit wars season two fucking nexus no one cares because all the points that you need all the all the points that needed to be made to prove that 1v1 was obviously the superior format all these little shitter cringe retard outfits like two raf and all these other shitter outfits that would never, ever, ever have a fucking snowball's chance in hell to win this event. They've all been shit on and humbled. And they know better. They know they'll never, no matter what they do, they don't have players good enough without the dog shit three-way faction stuff to even compete for anything in this fucking game. That's why those people sit on live eight hours a day. Ghost capping dead fucking continents. Like, if if you participate in this second iteration of this, you have fucking problems, man. You have mental problems. You need to stop. It's time to stop. We need the fucking, the gif. It's time to fucking stop. I told the people in my Discord, I'm like, if if you sign up for this and you play in this, I don't want to be associated with you. I'm kicking, I'm banning you from the Discord. I don't care because I can't be friends and socialize with people who are so fucking cooked in the head that they're still logging in to play competitive events for fucking a dead Planetside game in 2023. Damn near fucking 2024. Look, that's cool. If you want to, if you want to do it, if you want to play in it, I think there's something wrong with you. But it's all these people that have haven't have only played the game for a few years generally. And don't if you want to do that, go ahead. But I'm sorry, I cannot I can no longer be associated with you because you you something's just not getting through. You're wasting your fucking time. Stop. It, it, like I said, if you want to participate in this, by all means, go ahead. But I can no longer be a friend to you. I can't. Cause you're missing something. There's some part. There's a chromosome that you have that's missing, where you don't understand that it's pathetic, is what it is. Okay. 
you're going to be playing against no one. No one's going to show up. You're going to be there. There's going to be, what, four outfits in the whole game that, that actually want to participate in this. And it's the four outfits in the game that are perpetually stuck fucking forever playing this game because they have zero, zero transferable skills, zero transferable skills to any other game because they're dog shit, zero transferable FPS shooter skills, zero skills, they can't aim, they can't position, they, their spatial awareness sucks dick, they can't do anything without sitting in their blob and pop 24-7 on planet side 2, yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to be those people, if you want to be like those people, fine. Go ahead, be my guest. But I can no longer... Be associated with you. I can't. You're excommunicado. <laughs> was. And I think that made the devs think, oh, fine, actually, I guess we'll put in Outfit Wars since the players, I guess, want it. But I actually find it really funny. Like, man, on the European servers, how many outfits are really going to sign up for Outfit Wars? On Cobalt, I can't think of any that are going to. Like, who's going to be able to field 48 people for every match? I'm sure there'll be some on Miller. Beyond, beyond the fact that you guys can't, even compete or win in the game talking specifically about Zelda's outfit. Yeah, that's who's raising 48 for this. And who's raising 48 shitters to go and do exactly the same thing they did last year and go get their fucking asses beat. This guy's outfit spent more time in the prep phase for the matches, i.e. the 15 to 20 minutes before each match where you're logged in on, on Nexus and sitting there waiting to go. They spent more time in that area than they spent the entire time, the rest of the time, getting warp gated and shit on and playing in the actual Nexus map. I want I want you to understand that and let that sink in. These guys spent more time in the prep phase than playing the actual game in the event. And they only played their four matches. Right? And then all my friends who were playing in, in these other outfits that went along, those guys played an extra month. A, a month and some change. And then you have guys like this that complain about burnout. I think he talks about that too. And I'm sure a fair few on Emerald, but keep in mind, a lot of those are outfits in name only, and half of the players will have to be comprised of stand-ins, simply because the other half of the outfits goddamn left the game. And that really gets to the crux of the issue that I want to get to here. It really seems tone-deaf of the devs, you know, with the house on fire of Planetside 2 right now, for them to be focusing on asinine bug fixes that nobody asked for to begin with, or maybe a few very conscientious people that don't like things that don't work in the way they expect, you know, the certain types of people that are like that. And bless Gee, I wonder what he's talking about. It's the hearts to support them in that endeavor, but that shouldn't be really what the devs should be focusing on right now. What the devs should be focusing on right now is the actual fire in the building. OSHA, capture the flag. The fact that when you go and pull a new Sunderer, normally it dies right away. And there's a bunch of... Yeah, but... When they had people to work on the game, they weren't going to deal with any of those things. When they gave a fuck... They weren't going to deal with that stuff. They put it in the game. I don't know where this expectation of... Oh, there's a huge laundry list of stuff to do. There's actually a huge laundry list of stuff to do, and he's, as Ellis has named, some of them. What what's the point about what's the point of getting mad over? I'm I'm not mad in the least bit that they're not going to address any of this stuff. Because I already knew that they weren't going to do that. Because if there were serious people working on the game, the unserious things that you've seen done to the game over the last half decade would have never happened. But that's not the reality. You, some of you guys have been living in some distorted fucking world where things that are important... And this is why being a long-time player and a long-time critic of the game, this is where I think it's most important. is because players like me and people that are outspoken like me have the perspective of over a decade of watching this shit. So we understand that we've watched this over 10 years, if not more, more than 10 years. 
And when you have a perspective of 10 years, you don't really, like, like sitting here right now listening to him talk about this, I mean, I understand why you guys are mad. <clears throat> I get it. I get why you guys are mad that they're not going to do anything and, and the game is essentially dead. But I also understand that it was unreasonable for you to have that expectation in the first place. I don't... 10 years of playing this game and 10 years of watching the inept fucking morons and the biggest group of idiots possible put ever put on a ga game... Uh, watching that for 10 years has really <laughs> tempered my expectations. Uh, and you guys have really unrealistic expectations for what you're dealing with. But for some reason, you still don't understand what it is you're dealing with. Of other things as well that I could mention here, which go beyond the scope of this video. The point is, why are the devs not working on any of these things, seemingly, and are just putting out Out of the Wars instead? And by the way, it does... Because they were never going to work on anything serious anyway. That's... You guys are, are out to lunch. Now, I've said for a long time, this guy has a very skewed... This isn't a shit on Zealous video at all. And the majority of the stuff, I agree with him in this video. Uh, but to me, this video is more about people like Zealous and the Escalation Babies maybe finally coming to terms with the reality of the game. Now, I had Lanzer left a comment uh, on one of my Rel interview videos about how you sound like you sound like zealous or you guys both sound the same and i had i had to clear something up for for lanzer here because i've held this position for a long time uh i've been dreadfully aware of the reality of the game unlike you uh, I've been dreadfully aware of the reality of the game for a long time. Now I know I know you say that that you you're not out to lunch, but I've talked with you a lot in the past couple of years, uh, Lanzer, and I disagree wholeheartedly with that. Uh, you hold a lot of views uh, that just don't make sense for what this game is, and that's where I'm coming from when I'm talking about. I'm, I've been here for a long time. The reality of the game has set in, and we've been here for a long time pointing people to it and telling people this is the reality of the game. Now, Zealous makes a video like this. Zealous is an escalation baby, a, a profoundly ignorant player. Um, and seeing, seeing him get mad, he's getting mad. He's going through the cycle of why the fuck aren't these guys working on things that matter that players like me went through damn near 10 years ago and now you guys that came in an escalation and you've had your little cup of tea with the game now and you've got some time in the game now and you've got to live in this environment and you got to see how the developers and the company interacts with its players and the people that give relevant feedback you've been here long enough to see relevant feedback get given and get ignored you've been here long enough to see dumbass decisions that make no sense get put in the game and you've been here long enough to see that Absolutely nothing that needs to be addressed once you figured out what needed to be addressed or at least come to some agreement with players like me. You realize that uh, nothing's ever going to happen. And now now the, a lot of guys like this are angry. Now they're at the, finally at the point where uh, they don't understand. They're, they're pissed off and you see that bitterness start to creep in. Okay. Now spend literally two to three times as long as you've you've played the game all you escalation baby guys now multiply that by three times in terms of time and then you can understand where where a lot of us are welcome now just because me and zealous are not the same and, and lancer made this comment uh we're not the same because he's finally coming around to see my point of view and the things that he says sound vaguely familiar to what I've been saying for over half a decade now, we are not the same. Okay? It's not even close. And I I really... I resent that. Because just a year ago... Fuck. Just a couple months ago, 
this guy made the fucking what you call it, the uh, the hot takes video, which is one of the dumbest videos I've ever watched, and I've watched a lot of dumb fucking videos, and the takes in there are absolutely fucking retarded. No, we're not the same. We might... <laughs> this guy is just now discovering, apparently just now discovering that the game is run by morons who need to be held accountable. Nice of you to join us. It does seem likely that there is going to be some kind of update we get at some point, but nobody really knows exactly what that's going to be. There's been some rumors that I've heard. Of course, those could be totally false rumors. The point is, uh, we are going to probably get something at some point, but it's literally going to be one patch, you know, maybe once a year. And other than that, it's just going to be reoccurring things, of which Outfit Wars is one of those reoccurring things, much like the Valentine's update, the Easter update, the summer update, the Halloween update, and the winter update. The thing that really concerns me with this update when it comes out is that I remember Rail saying they don't want to revert things that they their colleagues have put good time into and instead would rather revise them into a state where they're working and the player base is happy with them and if that dev philosophy good luck good fucking luck putting the disasters and look that's all well and good that's perfectly fine we don't want to go they spent a lot of time on it we don't want to go in there's some sunk cost fallacy stuff here that they really, really have a hard time with. Uh, a couple things. Number one, good luck getting any of these fucking dog shit things they put in the game uh, into a position where, A, the <laughs> it works good, you're happy with it, and two, the player base is happy with it. Not gonna happen. Uh, number two... Good luck getting to that point by never actually fucking working or touching any of the things that we're talking about. Okay? Uh, cool motto, Rel, but number one, Rel doesn't work on the game anymore. Uh, he's gone. Uh, what he says, who gives a fuck? The guy's going to be delivering pizzas for the next decade, okay? Where's he working now? What's he doing now, guys? He's a fucking genius, right? He's a genius. He knows everything about game design, and he's just... He saved the game. I mean, why aren't people banging down his fucking door to have him come work at their studio? Why aren't they? Where's the job offers? What's he doing now, guys? Where the fuck is your savior? Where is he? If he's so intelligent, if he's so wise beyond his years... If he's so smart, I mean, I watch you guys suck his dick. You suck his dick so hard. Where the fuck is he at now? What's he doing? Does anybody know? Has anybody seen him? Is he alive? Did he have to move because he can't afford rent in Southern California anymore? Because he's not working. Who's he delivering pizzas for? Is what I want to know. Because you guys want to throw in your fucking... You guys want to throw in behind the guy who's massively not qualified to hold the position he held. Not only was he not qualified based on his actual credentials that you could put on a resume, he was also not qualified, and he would prove that he's not qualified to run an, an FPS game every time he opened his fucking mouth. And that's been well documented here specifically on this channel. Your cognitive dissonance, if you are still sucking that guy's dick and defending that guy, and you also say you love this game, you are so, your cognitive dissonance must be so fucking thick that it, it actually, you got to take Advil, and you must be physically in pain 24 hours a day. I can't square being so out of touch with fucking reality as to still suck that guy's dick and make excuses for that fucking retarded moron who shit on this game for half a decade and still say you love this game. You need psychiatric care. You need to be on, like, meds. And if you are on meds, up the fucking dosage. Because those things don't, they don't go together. It doesn't make any sense.
be is going to continue. I actually don't see OSHA getting taken out anytime soon. They no, it's not. The VAR capture the flag, which nope, is crazy they won't. to think. There are also a few other things. Because they don't care. They don't care. The people working on the game don't care. And the guy before, he cared, but he's a fucking retard. So it, it's the same. Things to mention in this video. And that is, of course, Rel in the past has done some really good things. Like, for example, nothing air to ground and nothing in any way that actually matters the max into a state where it isn't super oppressive other than maybe the yeah yeah it is yeah go to a one to twelve fight at five o'clock in the morning and when you're you're seven versus one against chinese players and the first guy that you kill gets mad and pulls a max They're, yeah maxes are not oppressive dude Ma anytime you can pull a thirteen thousand effective hp suit when you can have no team balance Yep, still oppressive. Sorry. NC variant right now, of course, NC is way stronger relative to TR and Vanu. Well, oh, go figure. I just wanted to mention the timing of the update with those two contexts in mind, just so people have some additional, you know, thoughts on if this is a good time to even release Outfit Wars, even if hypothetically... God, this guy's so bad. Do, do, are you watching? I can't watch the gameplay. You know, we had a big update coming. Jesus and in that same vein, Christ. I want to come at this kind of topic from a slightly different perspective as well, and that is to say that there is a lot of burnout associated with Outfit Wars and lanes. Nothing that you would know about, because you played for six minutes, and then you get stomped. And then all my friends, all the actual good players, they're the people that can play can complain about burnout. You can't. You can't. You can't. Smash respectively. And so I don't really know if Outfit Wars, you know, it's the best time to really do that. It does burn out leadership. You could make an argument for it when the game's got a lot of hype surrounding it, because Outfit Wars does give outfits a certain degree of advertisement and relevancy that they may otherwise not be able to afford simply because there's no other way to determine, you know, who's good and who's bad unless you look at statistics. Which yeah, you can. It's really easy. Some people will downplay quite easily. And having something more objective like Outfit Wars in some outfits' minds, you know, is something important for them. And whilst I can tell... Yeah, maybe the first time it happened. But now that those shitter outfits and those shitters in those outfits see the reality of the Nexus Outfit Wars, once Planetside 2 players realize they can't win, they just, they'll give up. They won't show up. I've been watching it for a long time. Even at the at, down to the smallest scale in the game, once you beat in a shitter's brains fifteen fucking times in a row, I mean, granted, it takes them a minute to get there. They quit. They give up. No moss. They go to a different fight. Totally understand that. I just don't think right now is the best time for that. There's also something. Else. When would be a good time? First, I want to mention here, which is really important. Technically, this game is still fun if you ignore OSHA and you ignore Capture the Flag. I think a lot of people, including myself, sometimes get lost in. Yeah, I guess I guess it it can be fun. There, yeah, for sure. There's still some moments you can have fun, but your fun is immediately ruined by people who can't actually play the game. People that can't can barely move their character uh, characters around. People who can barely fucking put their their crosshair on an enemy player. Your fun as an actual player. I'm not talking about Zealous here because he's d completely dog shit at the game. Your fun is an actual player who can play the game is, man, is is it dependent on so many fucking outside factors that are not in your control, and that's why a lot of people just fucking check out. You know, if I go to if I go to log in in you know whenever I'm done this in like 15 minutes, uh, you know what factors am I looking at? What what are the fights available to me? What shitty blob of retards who are all playing Infiltrator right now are? What are they doing like? And I got to do that, and I have to have the overhead to have... Th th I played three separate characters for ten fucking years. I have to have all that set up, all this. It's just a pain in the fucking ass. And it's just so not worth it. It's so not worth it anymore. And it hasn't been that way for a long time. Now, you guys that have barely played the game and you're dog shit at the game and you can't play the game... All you guys that can't play the game, you can't log in solo and kill people... You're you guys are fine because you guys are going to be able to play this game forever because you get to log in with your sh all the your squad of other shitty ass players, and you get to cap bases for free because there's no team balance, right? There's no team balance. That's that's why you and your squad of little shitty loser friends who are awful at the game, you guys aren't going to go play other games together. 
because when you go play other games in in your little in your little stack or whatever in your little squad you don't you don't get to fucking be seven or eight versus one or twelve versus one at five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. You don't get to do that. You get to fight a full server, and you don't get to have as much fun. This this game, whatever's left of this game, is is just a breeding ground and a playground for shitty players. It's shitty, awful players, and mostly foreigners that I've seen. A bunch of people who just for some reason can't play any other game. Because other games have, you know, restrictions on, on network conditions. This game doesn't care. This game has no team balance. It's nothing. That's why you guys are still here playing the game every day. Good all... Every last one of the good players with this game at this point, even the guys who are hopelessly stuck and attached to this game and, and are having a really hard time leaving, they're not logging in as much anymore. Go Go look it up. You don't see any of these people. You see people log in. If you're actually, you see these good players, they log in, I don't know, once a week, once a month, something like that. And no, I'm not talking about you shitty 2KD fucking sh retard shitters that are permanently stuck in this game that log in and play this game seven hours a day. I'm not talking about you. You're not good at the game. You're not. You're not good at the game. I'm talking about people who can actually log in by themselves, play by themselves, and farm people. That's not you. That's not That's not you. It's like maybe 20 people left in the game that can do that, and you're not one of them. Sorry. In the source, they downplay the positives of the game, or they simply don't mention them simply because they know them and they assume other people know them. And so I do quickly in this video as well want to say that, like, if you're finding Planetside fun, fair enough, keep playing it. I definitely do think there is a honeymoon phase with Planet Side 2, which then gets replaced with longevity via having an outfit that you like playing with. Or yeah, and that's where you're heading now. Alternately, finding a playstyle which you really enjoy. It may be that you're a knife main, or you're an air to ground main, or you really like air to air, or you really like tanks. Or you knife main? Sorry, that's not a playstyle. Air to ground, sorry, cringe as fuck. Not a play style. Uh, air to air, who the fuck's doing air to air? Hey, you're you like playing tanks? You mean the guy, the guy at every infantry fight who's sitting on a fucking hill three hundred meters away shooting an infantry? The 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 reality of it is, this game, the only people left doing that shit are the fucking cancer tumors who have no transferable skills to other FPS games. You enjoy flying around in galaxies. Whatever the thing is, you just kind of find your niche. But if you are one of those players, fair enough, continue to enjoy the game. I'm not saying this game... Your niche. No transferable skills to other FPS games. The game is objectively bad because I can't. That's just a subjective thing that you have to figure out for yourself. There's a few things that I do want to mention here. Of course, I really think a lot of pressure should be applied to the devs. If they're going to do anything, it should... Why? What pressure them... They, they don't care, dude. They're not going to do anything you want them to do. Should be a march of Miller and Cobalt. I, if, if they even do... I made my Emerald Connery merge video several months ago now. I, they don't care. It's all, I, all I can get to, the only rational thing I can get to is they don't care. And a marge of Connery and Emerald. You know, if they're only going to put this tiny amount of effort into the game now, we really do need to get it in that state where it's ready for maintenance mode. And unfortunately, this all comes off the back of the previous game designer getting us in this place. And that's a massive shame. But looking forward, I just really do think we need to get ready for the future. Yeah, but that's not... As, as much as, as someone who would really like to see that happen... I mean, what what to this point, and we can only go off this, what to this point would make you think or indicate to you that that would be something that they're going to do? I, the Outfit Wars Nexus Season 2 thing is a complete just reaction to the community. They, were not, they weren't going to do that. I don't think there's any way that you could reasonably state that they had planned to do that at all until very recently. That's a reaction. Like, in that sense, I guess 
I guess it makes sense why you think to pressure them for that stuff, but that's putting up Outfit Wars Nexus Season 2 is different than taking Capture the Flag out of the game, which, trust, I, I, if they did that, I'm all for it. But I just, I don't see any any reason why they would, based on what they've done so far. Why would they? They don't care. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting from those guys that they don't give a shit. So I don't, I don't live, I don't sit around and live with this false hope that the people that are working on this game actually care about it and care about making it playable for, they don't, they don't know what that means. Which is going to be a slow decline. The thing is with a lot of other games, it would be much quicker because there's another obvious choice, which is pulling players away from that game towards a new one. But with Planet Side 2, there is no obvious other choice. And that's what people who have no transferable skills always say. You're dog shit at FPS games, dude. I've been watching your gameplay for two years now. You're bad, and you're not getting any better. There's no other alternative. Of course there's no other alternative for you. Because no other game lets you sit in a squad or a platoon of people and, and fuck about and capture bases for free. You can't you can't go into Battlefield 2042 and sit in an empty server with 16 people in your team and, and win. That's not how it works. You have to actually fight other people, which you guys are really bad at. And you know how I know you're really bad at it? Because you need 4 to 1 odds to beat average and below average Planetside players. Choice. Look, guys, there's other games to play. There's other games to play. But you're scared or you don't have any transferable skills. And it's a comfort zone. Trust me, I get it. I have, I've played this game for 10 years. And yeah, there's, it's, you can log in and farm retarded shitters who are bad at the game and feel good about yourself all you want. But that's not all there is. I can't think of a single other MMO FPS game. Yeah, they don't exist. And the, the thing about the MMO FPS thing is... This game is so... The only thing MMO that this game does is it doesn't have restrictions on scale. That is it. Every other thing... I've played MMOs for damn near almost 25 years now. This game has the weakest MMO elements of any MMO I have ever played. And when they do exist in whatever weak dog shit form that they come in, they're almost completely irrelevant. The only MMO aspect that this game has is the scale of it. And that is almost completely irrelevant anymore. That works in a similar way, even slightly to Planet Side 2, where you've got a lot and you've got territory. I, I just don't see it. You've got Foxo, which has like 100 people on screen at one time at most. And you know, there's territory control in that game. So there's some things that are similar. And then in the same vein, there's Anvil Empire, which initially I was enthused by, but I've kind of gone off it since I realized it's basically just sogging people. And then you got the... That's, that's your whole life. That's what you like doing. What? Battlefield series, which is moving away from large-scale combat. Huh? This is... A, I fucking can't... This is the part about Planetside players, man. You guys don't fucking play any other games, and you don't know what you're talking about. The last game in Battlefield that just came out in 2021 specifically went, they quadrupled up to eight times the size of the fucking maps and went to 128 players. What are you talking about? Fights and instead just, you know, 64 by 64. Just, tell, just admit... Just come out and say in your video, I am shit at FPS games. I have no transferable skills to any other FPS game. That's why I don't want to play them and I don't like them. Just admit it. Just say it. Which isn't even technically that terrible, but you don't get the same kind of community that you'd see with the planet side where you recognize... Who cares? Who cares? The community aspect of this game, it's fucking so overrated. And cancer. It's just a bunch of dog shit ass players with egos that are left playing this trash fucking retard game. It's been that it's been that way since 2012. 
It's just shitty MMO players who accidentally found themselves in an FPS game that get mad at people who actually play the FPS game. That's the community aspect of the game. And the community aspect in the game, I mean, playing WoW for 20 fucking years, who cares? It's not relevant to the gameplay. And also, weird how I play how I play all these battlefields for over the years, and I, I constantly see the same people, and there's communities. So, so are you telling battlefield communities that they don't actually exist? Like, You don't know what you're talking about, man. It's names day in, day out. You know, there's a lot to be said for that. I get No, there's not. There really isn't. I've been doing it for two decades plus. And when I sit down and think about how much that actually matters to me in the grand scheme of things compared to everything else. Whatever. Take it or leave it. Who gives a fuck? Because I'm I'm there to play the game. I'm not there to fucking suck off people and fucking... I'm there to play the game. Yes, one example might be Star Citizen when that comes out in like six years. And maybe Ashes of Creation... Oh, don't even start me on Star Citizen. They have some similar kind of thing maybe. But again, in both of those cases, I just don't really know how much of a community they're going to have relative to something like Planet Side, which actually is really community focused. And of course... This community is one of the most retarded, shitty, brain-dead fucking communities of all time. Some of the dumbest motherfuckers I have ever seen online. Some of the worst players I have ever seen in a video game. Some of the dumbest motherfuckers I have ever seen The community of this game is and always has been a complete joke. And you are a prime example. Just a year ago, you shit yourself, you shit your diaper and pissed down your fucking leg that your shitty outfit of casual players knowingly signed up for a tournament that is 1v1 and not three-way. Did you forget about that? Because I didn't. This community sucks. <laughs> Who gives a fuck if you lose that aspect of it? I don't care. Who cares? I don't know why you care. It's always the people that are the worst part of the community that care so care so much about that aspect of the game. Because I guess it's their... I don't get it. I, I just don't. Side too, the fast person shooter gameplay actually does feel really good. And I just don't see that being replicated anytime soon. I don't... What are you talking? What? really do feel like that's why players put up with so much bs from the devs basically the only players that planet side 2 is losing is people that are just deciding they're not going to play video games anymore or ultimately people that decide to entirely switch genres and they go and play look that might be the case for the casual shitters in your outfit but that's an awfully big assumption Garfield, or Baldur's Gate, or forza or City Skylines to mention some recent examples. And so the crazy thing is, after all of this time, all of us are still sitting here with bated breath, hoping eventually one day these devs wake the fuck up. But the reason I don't think they're going to is simply because even if they do a good update next, right, and there's some good infantry changes, the fact that they haven't done anything whilst this game's lost half of its population in the last few months tells me that there isn't much of a fire up the ass to actually improve. If the It's not about a fire being up their ass. They don't care. They don't care. The people left, they don't give a fuck. And you can say, oh, well, Rel cared, Rel cared, Rel cared. Yeah, but he is fundamentally fucking retarded. And he's why we're in this position. His driving, he might have had a drive to add stuff to the game. But at the end of the day, when that guy's gone... And the drive to add shit to the game that has made the game objectively worse in almost... You can't... 
you can't get around that anymore. You can't get around that people don't want to play Osher. They don't want to play Capture the Flag. People are not happy with the state of the game. You can't get around that. If you if you can convince yourself that those things aren't true or real, then either number one, you don't play the game. Because I see a lot of people come out of the woodwork and say, they want to offer up their opinion on the game right now, but they want to preface it by saying, as someone who hasn't played in 10 years, as someone who hasn't played in 10 years, no one gives a fuck what you think because you're woefully out of touch with reality. Nobody gives a fuck. If you're some guy who logs in for an hour a night and sits in a medic blob, you know, dumping your shitty Zerg to win an alert, and then you log out, you're woefully out of touch with the reality of the game. You know, the other 23 hours of the game that happen when you're not in your little stupid medic blob going, oh, I got, I got you. I revived you. <laughs> How's your day, guys? Did you guys have a fun day at your nine to five jobs? <laughs> I got, uh, dang, that guy got me. <laughs> Can somebody hit me with a revive grenade? <laughs> hey, guys, man, I love this game. It's just not fucking reality. It's not. The devs were going to do some emergency updates to save the game and frankly save their no. jobs than they would have already done it. They don't care. Frankly, I suspect that they see their jobs as pretty secure because they can just go work on a new project whenever they want. And they're just kind of doing... What new project? ...in Planet Side 2 because hell, why not? I feel like these devs don't have any sense of urgency surrounding the state of Planet Side 2. You know, we've been a year now of Capture the Flag and we're now coming up to two years of Osho, which is crazy to think. The yeah. thing is, a lot of people are going to attribute this death of Planet Side 2 too, with the loss of Rel, and whilst yes, it is true that guy obviously was putting in a lot of effort to keep the game alive, I don't think it was effort spent well. I think that it was effort spent in the wrong directions, which is really the issue I've had from the start. Now that we're obviously in the twilight years of this game's existence, I just want, for history's sake, now, no, you know, it to be very clear here that the reason we're in this state is because of a past game design. People are basically thank you quitting because they've had enough and they're moving on to other games. Why do you think <laughs> this is a point I've tried to make for the last couple of years. The reason the game sucks and the current condition of the game is 100% rel. You guys that want to defend you professional rel defenders you can't have it both ways, guys. You can't credit him for saving the game and giving him all that fucking, all that political currency and in the bank for him making the game and saving it. And then suck his dick, suck his dick the whole time for the last two years, which is what you guys have done. That's what you've done. It's it's got to be it's impossible. You guys, I don't even know why you talk anymore because it's got to be fucking impossible for you to suck. I don't understand how you could be in the position currently, right now, where you can still suck that guy's dick and actually look at the product. Look at the product. You can't look at the current product and suck that guy's dick at the same time. It's Physically impossible. You, I've never seen anything. There's no way that you could hold those two viewpoints. That the game is in a terrible condition. Here's the reality of the game facing me. And this guy's so awesome and great for the game. It's, it's oil and water, man. Like, it's... And for the people that... Are, if you're still defending Rel, and everybody watching this video... If you have people in your life that are still defending that guy and who also want to talk about, if they even want to, if they even want to admit the state that the game is in, the game is in the state that it's in because of the things that guy did to the game. 
If he would have stayed or not, this game would have had the same problems that it has right now. If Rel was still here right now, we'd probably be getting a, a few updates here and there, but those updates wouldn't be good for the game. Lex, how do you know that? Well, because I've watched the guy develop the game for a really, really, really fucking long time. I have a, I have a pretty keen understanding of what that guy wants in the game and how he developed the game. And if he was still here right now, do you think Osher would be fixed? Do you think construction would be made relevant by now? Uh, do you think Capture the Flag would have maybe been taken out of the game? Or how about any of the other uh, on the laundry list of things? Do you honestly think, if that guy was still working on the game, that anything remotely worth a fuck relevant would be touched or actually worked on and made all better? Because I have a long fucking time and a lot of experience with this guy, the previous game designer, that would tell me that no fucking chance. And you guys that are huffing the copium and you think that's still the case? You're, you are so mentally gone and coping so fucking hard that it's, it's actually, it's embarrassing. And you shouldn't speak. You, you should not speak. You should not be heard from anymore. Don't do content anymore talking about the game. Don't make posts about the game anymore. You fucking lost the plot. Games, not because you know a game designer quit or told to resign. I've heard different stories from different people. Anyway, those are only my thoughts, feelings, and opinions. I'd love to hear yours in the comment section. Have a wonderful rest of your week. I'm out, GG. Bye bye. All right, that's it. That's the first React video I've done in a little while. Uh, as for what's next, not really sure what's next. A lot of it depends on what news we get about the game because quite frankly it's been hard to sit down and do these videos because there's really not much going on uh and we've talked about it uh going downhill real quick and i don't the whole takeaway from this is i don't know why you'd expect people who have shown no penchant for for addressing their game even when supposedly they care a whole lot I don't know why you guys put too much. It's mostly the guys that haven't been around that long. I guess now you're now you're learning. You guys are finally learning, and it's nice to see. So other than that, uh, I appreciate the support you guys have given me this year. Uh, really, you guys come out and kill it on every video. Love to see it. Uh, I try to get in as many comments as possible. And have some sort of interaction. Some guy actually complained about that the other day, or a couple of weeks ago. You respond. Look at you responded to the comments. Yeah, it's I'm interacting with the people that come and comment on my video, which I try to do. Uh, but yeah, I have no idea what's coming next. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. What am I gonna do on the channel? I don't know. I need to sit down and actually think about what I want to do with this channel, if anything. Uh, seeing as how the Planet Side 2 content is is very rapidly going to come to an end. Uh, and there's only going to be... The news is going to dry up. It already has this year. Uh, I'm really not playing as much as I used to. I've been playing a little bit more lately. Very rarely, though, and only for short amounts of time. Uh, there's just not... There's just not much there. And I, I play other games, but... The, the penchant and the the appetite for you guys wanting to watch me play other games and talk about other games hasn't been there in the past. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of reluctant. Uh, if anything, if I would do that, I might... I don't know. I've thought about making a new channel for that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I don't know. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.